So a new Fortnite Chapter 3 update brought Tilted Towers back which will surely make a lot of players return to the game and also will be a hot drop spot. However, such a change can make the game perform poorly and that's what I am here to fix. In this video, I will show you the best stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 3 to boost FPS and fix any and all stuttering. I will also show you how to properly set up the stretch resolution but before that, if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like to help get this video to more people so that it can help them as well. With that, let's dive straight into it. So the resolution we are talking about today has been covered by many people already and the main reason is because it actually works. Many pros also use this resolution and that resolution is 1656 by 1080. Now before I show you guys how to set up this resolution, we're gonna talk about why it works and why it is better than playing on native or any other resolution. So the first major advantage of using a stretch resolution such as 1656 by 1080 is that it gives you better FPS yes due to less pixels so normally your game looks like this however when you're using stretch resolution the gameplay screen gets stretched hence causing the pixels to be less on screen therefore increasing your performance this can really help you guys get rid of lag stutters and overall just give you guys an fps boost the second advantage is that it gives you better visibility due to its stretched nature making it easy to engage with targets so the hitboxes don't actually get bigger however the objects and the targets do seem to get bigger which on a one-to-one level definitely makes it easier for you to engage with the targets so those are the two biggest advantage that the stretch resolution can give you so the very first thing that you guys want to do is open up your start menu and type in run go ahead and open up the run app and once this box opens up just go ahead and type in percentage local app data percentage once again and then go ahead and hit ok once this opens up go ahead and look for the fortnite game folder open it up go into saved go into the config go into windows client and right click on the game user settings.ini file go to properties and just make sure that this read only box is unchecked hit apply ok right click on it once again and click on edit now this time what you guys want to do is scroll down till you guys can go ahead and find the resolutions so here they are the desired screen width the desired screen height and last user confirmed desired screen width as well as last user confirmed desired screen height what we want to do is just go ahead and change this one to 16 1656 and also change this one to 1656 so yeah if you guys have something else here just go ahead and change that to 1080 and this to 1080 as well but this is all that you guys need to do just go ahead and click on file hit save close out of it right click go to properties make sure that the read only box is checked hit apply hit ok and that's it now go ahead and open up fortnite enjoy your game with a new stretch resolution and in my opinion it really gives you a huge advantage especially on low end pcs because where you are struggling to get better fps if you don't want to play on a stretch resolution you can try other resolutions such as 1600 by 900 or even 1280 by 720 but to be honest i would recommend using this stretch resolution just for the sake of getting more performance and making it easier to engage with the targets and if you are looking for other tweaks and optimizations that can help you get better performance then i will link other useful guides that will actually help you get more fps and lower the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out out. Also keep an eye out for more guides that are coming soon. Before you guys click off of this video, I just want to say thank you for watching till the end. It really means a lot. And since you are already here, you might as well hit the like button to help this video reach more people. Also subscribe to the channel for more optimization content blessing your YouTube feed. With that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.